Also, just the other day, Claudius expressed remorse about what he had done. You know, I think most of these people are actually on the path to recovery, and that's very exciting to think. So many inmates, so many, so close to being sane again. You know, I really don't give a damn. There's only one person in this whole asylum I actually want to see. Right. You're here for the main attraction. The promising young hero gone rogue due to a bad case of lovesickness. Well, we keep him heavily guarded. This way. Have you noticed any change in the young man? A bit. He's a lot less sporadic. More calm and collected. However, I wouldn't mistake that for sanity. I get a sort of uneasy feeling about him. I would be careful if I were you. <laughs> oh, please. Nobody ever got anything or anywhere being careful. Right. Well, here he is. Hello, Kui, a young man. Are you there? Present and accounted for. Uh, uh, yes, uh, well, I wanted to know if I could have a minute of your time to ask you a few questions, young man. Why, certainly. I don't seem to have anything else to do. Obviously. Y yes, what right you are. Well, uh, my first question I wanted to ask, do you feel any more sane? Oh, I feel calmer. Whether you count that as sanity or not, I... I feel more clear-headed. Like I know now what I want to do with my life, and exactly what goals I want to pursue. Uh, could you elaborate? Why, certainly. But, question, Doctor. Have you ever been in love? What do you mean? Come now, Doctor, it's a simple question. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever had a darling, a, a sweetheart, someone you'd give your life for and someone you hope would give life for you? Because I had someone like that, Doctor. And... I felt betrayed after my darling chose to leave me. But, but these past few months I've only grown in my love. I feel more strongly about it than ever. And, and I can't describe it. The feeling is, it's amazing. I feel like I can do anything. I will do anything to get back to my darling. And there's nothing, repeat, nothing that you tools can do about it. <laughs> and, <laughs> and speaking of tools, doctor, did you know the body is an amazing tool? Like, so many parts of the body can be used as compartments for things. Like, the throat, for example. Have you seen a sword swallower? Well, it's kind of a party trick. Someone relaxes their throat, and with a lot of practice, can safely swallow a sharp sword. It's a tough trick to learn. Then you get the hang of it. It's quite easy, actually. <laughs> no, 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 no! Where do you think we're going, Doctor? We aren't done talking yet. Doctor! Hold it right there, Azukumadoria. I thought we were making progress with you. Our progress wasn't made, really, Doctor. But it was my kind of progress. I'm gonna be next to my darling, 
and I'd say around a few hours now. That's progress in my book. Don't make me pull the trigger. Warden, you've always been semi-good to me. Don't make me do this. I promise I'll let you live if you just mind your own business. You know I can't do that. Such a shame. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try to speak, Doctor. Your windpipes are severed. Just go to bed and forget about this. You did your job. Excellent work. Freeze! Mm. This asylum's gonna get a new coat of paint today. <laughs> 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 I'm coming, my darling. Instant ramen. I cooked so much better for you, darling. It pains me to see you having to resort to instant food. Don't get up. You don't know what I can do with this knife. I've missed you so much, darling. Have you missed me? I don't want to hear it now, darling. You did betray me after all, and it hurt. But I'm a forgiving person. Before we talk further, take this knife and cut the straitjacket off. Yes, I could have escaped from it any time I wanted to, but I want you to do it. Because... You got me into this. Now you can get me out. Well done. Good job. I knew you still cared. I mean, I gave you a weapon and I was damn near defenseless. <laughs> Enough with the instant ramen. I want you to sit down while I make you a meal. And we're going to talk about what you did. I know you're not a complete Benedict Arnold, darling, because I saw the hesitation in your face. However, I would have appreciated more of an effort to get away from Todoroki. Okay, since it's Patreon shout-out time and since I'm free, I'll be doing it today. We have Jordan Line, Hannah Marie, Kovu 3, Hannah Chan 01, Hyono Fuko, and Lee Wolf. I love you, my patrons, and I also appreciate everyone else that watched the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and subscribe and stay tuned for more if you haven't already. Have a good night, slash.